Hello all, welcome to Netbooks and welcome back to Microsoft Tutorials. Today I'm planning to talk about date and time. How we can work with the date and time in the data view. In real time, if we see the date time plays the key role. We do lot of transformations, lot of conversions, our format changes and changing from one time zone to another time zone, adding some dates, many things we do using this date time. Now in data view, how exactly we can perform those things we are going to learn today. As part of this video, I'm going to cover date decomposition, formatting date and time, and changing the time zone, and then finally add subtracting the time uh, dates. So first of all, if you want to learn that, you need to understand in the data view, what are the different things in a date time it is contained. That is what we need to see. The first thing is date. It is consist of year, month, day. The format is this way. The year, iPhone, month, iPhone, day. The month will be the number. Then the next thing is date time. The date time consists of date plus time plus time zone. I think it is good to know the time before I discuss about date time. The time is something consists of hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds. Now if I go to over here, the date time, it is consists of date plus time. It indicates uh, T over here, the time, then the time zone iphone or minus or plus over here it is going to come not iphone the time zone value the next thing is local date time it is consists of only date plus time the time zone will be the current time zone where your code is executing that is how it is going to take local time the local time is going to calculate only the time that we know the time is this one the current time zone time it is going to take then time zone relatively gmt day now this indicates plus or minus over here the time zone if it is india it will be plus 5 30 that is the time it is going to take there is something called period after that the period consists of one year maybe two years three years or maybe we say one month two months three months or one hour or something right t indicates the period n indicates the number of y indicates over here year this is if i say p2y that is period of two years m indicates month dt indicates the days x indicate hour m indicates the minutes s indicates second that is the basic thing we need to understand as part of date time now coming to the date composition let me start with the data view code i'm going to work with the data view playground over here online now i don't worry about this input over here so first you need to see the how the current date time it is going to look like I will say current date time. When I say this now function, when I use it, this now function is predefined function in a data view, which indicate the current date time over here. You can see this is the date and then T, this is the time and the milliseconds with the time zone over here. That is how it will be kept. So I can take it where current date time, I can say, and I can use now function here also. That is called as a local variable normally. I can take it the same value over here. I will tell you why I took it that way, okay? So now I want to decompose this. I want to find the current year and month, or hours, everything I want to calculate with that. To do that, I use decomposition, this decomposition. How I can perform? No. So I'm going to copy paste some code over here. I have already. So let me take it this variable as my date time. Otherwise, I need to rename everything. So my date, uh, I can say here. Now you can see here, if I want to calculate after the date time, just dot year, you can fetch it. And you can see the year is able to calculate. Dot month brings the current month, which is this one. If you want to bring the day, dot day. So like this, after dot, whatever you want, you can see day of the year. You can see in 2021, today is 189th day, day of the week. So in a current week, this is the fourth day. That is how it is going to, which quarter it is. It is a July, the current quarter is the third quarter in the current year and nanoseconds. This is how we can decompose the date. Clear that one? So that is how we can de decompose. 
now coming to the formatting the date so let me copy this because of i will explain how we can do over here i will take a comment over here format date and time an example over here uh, let me remove this i want to format the date as this format only the date i have something over here this is the date and i want it only the date from that i want to get formatted date i want only the time you can get it by formatting you can see k is the hour over here minute second and is it a am or pm it is going to indicate over here and then formatted date time so if i want to get it in a time and is it a pm or am and which month it is which date it is which year it is that is how it is going to present and it is going to format that thing let me so show you some more thing um date one okay i'm going to give some name random name so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this my customer is asking me my date time should be first day it should become so i said date and you don't want iphone if you want it forward slash then you want it month then you want it year then i can mention this way you can see the date is formatting in such a way this is how also we can format it as well as let me my customer want year month the complete month name uh, in the uh, english english words you want it okay in the complete month name you want it so what you want to do is space you want to do and you want to give the complete month name so you can see that is how it is coming over here so that means this format makes however you want to bring that your date that you can make it uh, work out over here clear so let me copy this code the next thing is what we have is changing the time zone okay so now i will remove this all changing time zone okay so now gmt time i want to bring a gmt time for the current time so my current time is my time over here what i want to do i want to convert into gmt time zone you can see that my current time let me print a current time also here current time over here i use my date my current time is over here currently it is relatively gmt always takes that's why my current time time zone both exactly the same you can see now we are going to discuss about the ist time to convert now by default this is going to take a gmt time right now ist time my date i want to convert into ist indian standard time so now we can see that the current indian time is 12 14 right so that is converted in that form. if you want to convert it to utc uh, utc time i will say that my date i'm going to convert into utc now you can see that utc time is now 6 45 a.m that is how it is going to say the time then you need to use this symbol whatever the time zone you want to convert that you need to mention now i'm going to talk about how we can add or subtract time so a couple of things i'm going to discuss over here as part of add or subtract uh, time i will change it to add or subtract time so the many things we can discuss like adding and uh, adding year for the some time now adding month similarly i'm going to show adding 
one hour so other than that subtract two dates so this is another part i'm going to show and subtract one year or maybe i will say one day or something two dates um one year two uh, dates now these all things we are going to discuss let's see um next year what i'm going to do the current time whatever i have now for that i want to add one year so within this uh pipeline symbols i need to say period one year i want to add one year so i can say this now you can see we have a 2021 current year normally the current today's uh, date 7 8 that is july 8 2021 the next year it is showing exactly adding one year to this date that is how we can add it and next month i will say here next month here my date i want to add one month right i can say here i can see july 8 is today's date and it is added one month it is august 8th is the one month i want to add one hour to current date okay next hour okay the current date plus i'm going to say one hour one h over here okay so i think this is not a period time right so because of it is a time i need to say pt one h now the current time is you can see my current time i can say here let me put a current time now uh, i can say my use my data my date now you can see the current time is 6 49 but next hour is 7 49 one hour is added over here that is how we can add the date. how can i add uh, two dates okay add two dates what i want to do is now i want to add with tomorrow's date okay so the tomorrow's date is something um let me put it this way uh, let me take it uh, tomorrow's date i'm going to say over here so tomorrow's date is i will say that here nine right over here if you see but you have to put it within the pipeline symbol if you want to add two dates okay you can see that add two dates now it is become i think this is millisecond is going to. now i want to subtract two dates what i can do i use exactly the same okay now instead of minus I will, uh, plus i will use minus over here you can see now i will say over here let me put it uh, another array around i will say six over here or seven because of today's it is eight period of time 24 hours and uh, 1 minute 23 seconds and i want to subtract one year how i can do um subtract one year uh, for the my time i'm going to say period of one year i want to subtract so if i do that now you can see today's date is 2021 uh, and uh, july 8th but i'm subtracting one year you can see now it is 2020 exactly today's date it is going that is how we can subtract using this all formulas like you know formatting decomposing dates and uh, changing the time zone and subtraction addition on top of uh, date time by using this you can perform a lot of things in a data try to practice those and explore your knowledge more on it that's it for today thank you for watching this video Please like, share, subscribe, netbook. See you in the next video.